Hello, I'm Scott with the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society and you're looking at cask 113.49, Orchards in the Sun. This is an 11 year old Speyside, bottled at 62.4% ABV. It's in our spicy and dry flavor profile. And our cask type on this is a first fill X bourbon barrel. Let's get into it. Nice lighter golden hue on this for 11 year old. First fill X bourbon barrel. Ooh, on the nose. Nice, spicy, ground, fresh ground black pepper. Lemongrass, custard, oak. Ooh, boy, that burns the, burns the nose hairs a little bit. Nice, spicy, again, peppers, citrus notes, dry oak. Almost sawdusty. You're in the wood shop, sawing that oak board, and that fine sawdust is getting up into your nose, and someone ground some fresh cracked black pepper on there. Ooh, kind of like a, a lemon, lemon custard with, with that black pepper on it. Little, little vegetable, little earthy. Hmm, very nice nose. Let's get it on the palate. Cheers. Mmm, nice, rich, mmm, honeyed, malty, spicy, all over the tail end on this one. White pepper, cracked black pepper. Mmm, I would say even a little, little wasabi, a little bit of a pungent mustard on there. Nice. Lemon, a little bit of lime, oak, dry, little bit of that earthiness, uh, veg, almost like a, a piece of wood that has uh, been in the ground for a while and you've dug it up and you kind of get that earthy aroma to it and that wet wood, lemon tart with that black pepper on it never had it that's what it would taste like this right here a little bit of uh kind of a toasted slash burnt vanilla and vegetal note almost going vegetable maybe some carrots i don't know if i've ever gotten carrots before a little bit of an earthy vegetal vegetable note potato yeah, it's kind of like a potato. Fresh, uncooked, raw potato. You cut a chunk of it, maybe put a little salt on it, take a bite, right there. Water, bringing out more of the citrusy notes, more of the fruitiness here, more sweetness. Still nice and spicy on the back end. Nice oak influence. Still a little astringent overall. Mmm, getting creamier. A cream puff tart mm. and a, a salted potato. I don't know if I've ever got raw salted potato as a tasting note before. Little, it's nice. It's the citrus notes, sweetness, that earthy vegetal note. Very nice. This one also does not feel 62.4%. I really like this one with that first round of water. Let's get a second one on there brought down water brought down a little bit of the spiciness toned down a little bit of the astringency brought out a little bit more of the fruits and the sweetness mm. Mm. nice chewing tobacco notes peppery spicy citrusy vanillas oaks very nice spicy and dry profile on this one nice finish even with two rounds of water, it really soaks in. This was, this was good need. It was good with, with one round. Don't notice too much difference between, with the second round compared to the first round, but definitely liked it with that first round of water. 113.49, Orchards in the Sun. A bright, sunny dram, lemon, flowers, candy floss, and oiled pine. The finish combined oak chips and hot lemon with pickled ginger and wasabi. Wasabi indeed on the tail end. Very nice. 
Cask 113.49 Orchards in the Sun is available on the website for $125. Please click the subscribe button, leave a comment, and give me a thumbs up. It all helps the channel. And remember, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society whiskeys are not for swigging, glugging, or knocking back. Please drink responsibly. Cheers.